थैंक यू डॉक्टर काटे अपन इंट्रोडक्शन कर छान मूड क्रिएट के सुरुआत कराया आधी मैं प्रार्थना गो अपन सुरू करू ओम ज्ञान तिमिरांध से ज्ञानांजन शलाकया चक्षुरुन मिलित तस्म श्री गुरव नम नम ओं विष्णु पदाय कृष्ण पृष्ठा भूतले श्रीमते भक्ति वेदांत स्वामी नामिने नमस्ते सारस्वते देवे गौरवाणी प्रचारिणे निर्विशेष शून्यवादी पाश्चात्य देश तारिणे जय श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु नित्यानंद श्री अद्वैत गदाधर श्रीवासदी गौर भक्त वृंद हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे सो बिफोर वी बिगिन अवर टॉपिक फॉर टुडे आई जस्ट वॉन्ट टू गिव सम बैकग्राउंड दैट वेन वी आर डिस्कसिंग अबाउट कृष्ण जन्माष्टमी वॉट इज समथिंग बेस्ड ऑन विच वी कैन डिस्कस सो समथिंग अबाउट टूडेज वर्ल्ड आई वॉज डिस्कसिंग विथ अ फ्रेंड एंड आई वॉज टेलिंग हिम Today's world is not selfless. Today's world is not selfish. So, if it's not selfless, if it's not selfish, what kind of a world this is? And I told him, today's world is a selfie world. So, today's times are times where looks are skin deep. One person who regularly comes to the temple works in Bollywood film industry, and he mentioned that. one of the most popular male actors who is known for his beautiful body actually he has a pot belly and 6 months are spent on shooting for the film and after everything is shot 6 months are spent in the digital studio trying to give a digital makeup so that his body looks good so in today's time looks are skin deep relationships are screen deep we may have 200 friends on facebook but sometimes when we get admitted to a hospital then very few people will actually come and at least spend 5 or 10 minutes with us emotions today are emoticon deep there are roughly 200 different icons available in whatsapp to capture the most closest to your emotion and although there are so many emotions represented by the icons and we usually choose one of them to express ourselves but all of us will agree that there are so many misunderstandings that are common in today's communication so looks are skin deep relationships are screen deep emotions are emoticon deep experiences are selfie deep we go to some holy place or we go to some vacation and we are clicking photographs with an iphone but we will not click photographs with our eyeballs and then actually we go to some place to get some relief but then all the memories of that place are not stored in the heart all the memories of that place are stored in the memory card of our phone or maybe our camera and so because when we return back we don't have any memories we don't have any good times in our heart we still feel empty so experiences are selfie deep knowledge is finger deep you want anything in the world you can go to google so nobody cares to read books nowadays nobody actually cares to become knowledgeable because they feel any time you want anything you can just type on google and get it determination today is sleep deep when you go to sleep you have some idea in your heart and you think this is how i'm going to do it and everything is set you go to sleep next day morning all the determination is gone sometimes with our kids we get them ready to study for some exam and next day morning again we have to rework and culture today is cloth deep culture today is cloth deep means what we are what we stand for is at the most represented by our clothes not by our activities not by our thoughts when do hindu people wear traditional clothes nowadays maybe one or two days of some big festival in the whole year 
अदरवाइज थ्रू आउट द इयर दे प्रिफर टू वेअर वेस्टर्न क्लोथ्स मग आपली जी संस्कृती आहे ती संस्कृती आता हृदयामध्ये राहिली नाही ती आपल्या विचारांमध्ये राहिली नाही काय योग्य काय अयोग्य याचे मापदंड सगळे बदलले आहेत हा आठ वर्षातून एक दोन दिवस कदाचित आपण तशा प्रकारचे कपडे घालू इफ टुडे समबडी वेअर्स ए धोती देन ही सीन एज समबडी हु इज अ बॅकवर्ड पर्सन बट समबडी हु वेअर्स ए सूट अँड ए टाय अँड ए कोट ही इज रिस्पेक्टेड बेस्ड ऑन हिज क्लोथ्स सो देर इज अ स्टोरी ऑफ हाव वन टाइम वन संन्यासी हॅड गॉन टू अमेरिका and there he was wearing traditional indian clothes and the person there whom he met he told him oh aren't you wearing any shirt pant and all that you're not looking like a gentleman today and this sanyasi answered that is the difference between your country and our country in your country a gentleman is determined by his clothes and in our country a gentleman is determined by his heart but unfortunately today because we are trying to ape the west so our culture is also cloth deep so many of us today because i keep traveling around india i have seen many people they have almost forgotten their culture what is diwali diwali is no longer any connection with lord ramchandra's home coming back to ayodhya so ramayana mentions when lord ramchandra left ayodhya then all the ayodhya vasis felt as if the sun has left their life it was all pitch dark it was amavasya night for 14 years for the ayodhya vasis so when lord ramchandra came back they wanted to welcome him and to welcome him back they lit up the whole city with lamps recently on august 5th when the bhumi pujan was done in ayodhya then they had a big huge festival where they again lit up the entire ayodhya with lamps but today most kids or even most youngsters if you ask them what is diwali for them diwali is a time of eating sweets diwali is a time when you have a vacation when your cousins come to your home mavas bhau mavas bahin mama sa bhau and all those people they just come and you have nice food and you have a good time the kids have a good time on diwali day many of us would have forgotten that dasara is the day when ravan was killed by lord ramchandra and it is a day which signifies the winning of good over evil today for most people it is just a day when they get some new clothes and the whole purpose of that festival is forgotten many people today have forgotten that holi is actually a celebration of killing of holika holika was the sister of hiranyakashipu who was always trying to kill his own son prallad and one time one of the ways of killing was they sit on a fire and holika had a boon that she will not be burned by fire but prallad because he was always remembering the supreme lord vishnu in his heart actually the boon jo aashirvad hota to ulatla holika got burned and prallad got saved so actually the day of holi is very auspicious for us to remember how the supreme lord always saves his devotee prallad but then today holi has just become a day when people come together they light a fire and they sing some songs around that fire and sometimes there is also preparation for making some bhang for the next day so the original purpose is gone similarly if you have forgotten diwali if you have forgotten dasara if you have forgotten holi it's also very natural that many of us might have forgotten janmashtami i cannot say everyone has forgotten so what is the need for celebrating janmashtami today if you see we know all kinds of brave stories maybe from the 1965 war maybe from the 1971 war but today all of us feel we lack people in our lives who actually live by those ideals we have read many stories in books maybe in ramayana maybe in mahabharat maybe in war stories but that era has gone that generation has gone now sometimes when we are going around in the market then maybe there is a cloth store and outside the cloth store in a glass window there are different dolls in english they are called mannequins so there is a beautiful girl wearing a dress that they want to sell there is a beautiful boy wearing some clothes that they want to sell now i have seen people stopping by and looking at those clothes and looking at those dolls but one interesting thing is at night time when there is no security guard nobody ever breaks that glass window and steals those dolls oh they are so beautiful oh they are so attractive you know why because every single person knows kitne bhi sundar hone do however attractive they are finally they are false they are all plastic dolls 
so plastic dolls can catch our attention for two moments but plastic dolls don't capture our heart don kshan aplo laksha vedit karu shakta pan aplo hrudaya vedit nahi karu shakat similarly all the cinema stars of today with all their fighting stunts and this and they are like those plastic dolls they can capture our attention for 3 hours but all of us know all the stunts and all the good things that they do on screen they are doing for money the same actor who is hero in one movie if he is offered a greater money package and he is asked to become a villain in the next movie he gives up his good character and he becomes the bad guy in the next movie why because finally it was not about being a good guy it was not about being a bad guy it was about getting good money so to the extent to which we know this reality we are not affected by the movie industry we go to the movies for entertainment so exactly what is missing in our life what is missing in our life is a lack of true heroes there are true heroes in the galwan valley there are true heroes on the border but they never ever get praised they never ever get photographed and if you go and ask them do you feel bad for this they will always tell you no actually we don't do our duty to get photographed we don't do our duty to catch capture somebody's attention we do our duty because it is our duty amsa te kartavya hai mhanun ami kartavya karto kahi maan sammana sathe ami kadi kartavya nahi karat so it is this concept of selfless duty which is very attractive and this brings us to the point that dr kate was mentioning that if god is attractive if god is a very powerful person if god is not a plastic doll if god is real then does god also have a duty yes in the gita fourth chapter shloka number 7 and 8 he explains that he also has a duty he says yada yada hi dharmasya ग्लानिर्भवति भारत अभ्युत्थानम धर्मस्य तदात्मानं सृजाम्यहम ही सेज व्हेन एवर देयर इज अ फॉल ऑफ धर्म एंड देन देयर इज अ राइज ऑफ अ धर्म ही सेज आय कम रेग्युलरली यदा यदा ही व्हाट डू यू डू ही सेज परित्राणाय साधूनां विनाशाय च दुष्कृतां धर्म संस्थापनार्थाय sambhavami yuge yuge so he mentions three things he says i come to protect my devotees the good people i come to destroy the miscreants in society those who destroy society and after doing these two things i establish dharma so now the great saintly people they have analyzed krishna's character and they mention actually to destroy the criminals in society krishna does not have to come on his own krishna is the parmatma in everyone's heart can just kill the person by giving him a heart attack from within there can be a earthquake and in that earthquake the entire city can be destroyed so we have heard at one point of time how in europe there was a roman civilization julius caesar was there augustus was there we have also heard about the greek civilization now there is not even a small trace of those civilizations so entire civilizations can vanish in a matter of 100 years or 200 years the language the culture the clothes the habits everything can be destroyed so if krishna wants to kill somebody does it really is it really important for him to come even a great king like shivaji maharaj he could resist an evil king who was very heavy for the entire north india purna uttar bharatala jo jad jat hota tya rajala एका शिवाजी महाराजांनी अडवून ठेवलं अँड ही गेव हिम सो मेनी हार्डशिप्स अँड ही कॉज सो मच प्रॉब्लेम्स टू हिम सो इवन वन गुड धार्मिक किंग ए वन पॉवरफुल किंग हू डिड नॉट इवन हॅव इज ओन किंगडम हू डिड नॉट इवन हॅव इज ओन पीपल बट विथ द ब्लेसिंग्स ऑफ द सुप्रीम लॉर्ड बिकॉज ही वॉज लिव्हिंग बाय द प्रिन्सिपल्स मेन्शन इन द महाभारत ही कुड रेझिस्ट अ ह्यूज आर्मी ऑफ औरंगजेब so to kill evil people krishna does not have to come even his empowered representatives can do that but why does krishna come to this world krishna comes to this world to have protection for his devotees people who walk on the good path they need encouragement they need a protection they need to feel that there is somebody in this world who cares for them usually those who are good people in this world they get beaten up they get neglected people pass comments on them they say 
हा व्यक्ती इम्प्रॅक्टिकल आहे याला कळत नाही आहे जगात कसं राहायचं एवढ्या चांगुलपणाने राहून काय फायदा नाही आहे सो दे हॅव रेड सम थिंग्स इन द स्क्रिप्चर्स अँड दे हॅव हर्ड फ्रॉम द ग्रेट पीपल मे बी सम साधूज दॅट नो दिस इज नॉट द वे टू ऍक्ट बट वेन दे बिहेव लाईक दॅट द एन्टायर सोसायटी मेक्स वन ऑफ दॅम सच पीपल इफ दे ऑल्सो गिव्ह अप देअर गुडनेस दॅट इज द एंड ऑफ सोसायटी दॅट इज द डूम ऑफ सोसायटी सो कृष्ण मेनी टाइम्स ही कम्स हिअर to protect such people who many times because they have chosen the right path are actually tortured by society so his primary purpose is to care for his devotees however great you become you and i become will we ever delegate our responsibility to embrace our parents will we ever delegate our responsibility to touch the feet of our parents to somebody else hazar nokar asil aplya ghari आई वडिलांच्या पाया पडण्यासाठी आपण नोकराला कधी ती सेवा देणार नाही आईला मिठी मारण्यासाठी आपण कधी एखाद्या नोकराला सांगणार नाही अरे तू माझं हे काम करतोस ते काम करतोस माझ्या वतीने आईला तू मिठी पण मार नाही आईचं प्रेम अनुभवण्यासाठी वडिलांचे आशीर्वाद अनुभवण्यासाठी सो कृष्ण इज ऑल्सो व्हेरी ग्रेट पर्सन आता सध्याच राखी होऊन गेली भाऊ किती मोठा असला तरी तो कुठल्या तरी आपल्या सेक्रेटरीला नाही पाठवत जा माझ्या बहिणीकडे आणि तिच्याकडून राखी बांधून घे नाही राखी बांधण्यासाठी भाऊ बहीण किती मोठे असले बहीण किती मोठी असली भाऊ किती मोठा असला तरी पण राखी बांधण्यासाठी तो भाऊच पाहिजे आणि साक्षात त्याची बहीणच त्याला राखी बांधणार कितीही तुम्ही मोठे झाले बट वेन यू वॉन्ट टू शेअर युअर हार्ट यू डोंट शेअर युअर हार्ट विथ युअर सेक्रेटरी अँड डेन टेल युअर सेक्रेटरी टू शेअर युअर हार्ट ऑन युअर बिहाफ is somebody who is very close to you maybe your wife maybe your husband maybe your kids maybe your friends so certain things in life can be delegated to a secretary tu he karun ghe majha majha vati le but certain intimate things cannot be given to a secretary so similarly krishna actually krishna and lord vishnu there is no difference lord vishnu is engaged in universal management so our acharya shri prabhupad would say Krishna is Vishnu at home. Jeva Vishnu aplya ghari etat, teva thode vegde vagtat. So that is Krishna. And when Krishna goes to office, same person, but then he becomes more official. Then he is not so much loving. Then he is so much into justice of this world. Sangla na sangla medala paje, white na white medala paje. So he would say Krishna is Vishnu at home, and Vishnu is Krishna in office. That is the only difference between Krishna and Vishnu. so actually lord krishna is lord vishnu and that's why when he was about to take birth in this world then there was an akashvani jeva apla janma jhala teva kadhi koni akashvani nahi keli ulat lokanna kadhi vaat baghat astil ki kadhi etil ani kadhi aplya sagle he tras samapt hote but for krishna there was an akashvani so that shows how great krishna is that just because he, he was coming it was already foretold that he is going to come and there was no fear कि या व्यक्तीच्या येण्याबद्दल आधीच जर सांगितलंय सो देन विल इट कॉज एनी हार्म टू हेम नो सो द महाभारत डिस्क्राईब्स तीन प्रकारच्या वृत्ती असतात त्याला म्हणतात अंगारक वृत्ती अंगारक इन संस्कृत मीन्स कोळसा इन मराठी कोल अंगारक वृत्ती म्हणजे समटाइम्स ए मॅन विल गो टू ए फॉरेस्ट ही विल कट द ट्रीज ही विल डिस्ट्रॉय द फॉरेस्ट sometimes he will convert that tree into coal and he will sell that coal but he will never ever go to the forest and plant some more trees basically he goes to the forest and just takes everything from the forest destroying the forest this is one vritti second vritti that the mahabharat mentions is malakar vritti malakar vritti manje jo har banavto phulansa so such a person he goes to the forest and he picks flowers from the plants he does not destroy the plants the previous person was destroying the plants the malakar vritti person he does not destroy the plants he just takes the flowers and he makes a beautiful garland out of those flowers and sells the garland to earn money why he does not destroy the plant because he knows tomorrow this same plant will give me some more flowers and i can again earn my money tomorrow so this is the malakar vritti the third vritti which is very important for all of us is called the madhukar vritti madhukar is basically madhmashi so that madhukar will go from one flower to another flower it does not disturb the flower 
it does not even pluck the flower it does not even destroy the plant it just takes the makaranda the nectar from one flower it takes nectar nectar from another flower and stores it for the future second point which is many times not counted in a in a madhukara vritti is that as the honey bee is transferring from one flower to another flower there is something which is happening which is called pollination so because of pollination between two flowers actually the forest increases the flowers increase so many people today are in the mood of angaraka vritti they are just taking from the world and destroying the world some few people are gentlemen they don't take from the world more than what they require why out of selfishness udya jar he jhad asel to udya malas phula meltil ani maza kaam hoy but they don't want to give to this world but there are very few people in this world who are like the madhukar vritti those who take a little bit for the future for helping others that honey is not used by the honey bees that honey is used by people and as he is doing that he also causes pollination interestingly one of the names of shri krishna is madhukar so this original madhukar krishna is the original madhukar he comes to this world he does not destroy the world he does not take from the world for his selfishness he comes and gives us his knowledge he comes and gives us his infinite activities his very beautiful leela very sweet sweet activities on which so many saintly people have written so many bhajans and people keep on singing those bhajans and in doing all that he gives lot of benefit to this world lokancha jivana madhe jithe andhakar ahe jithe dukh ahe tanna shri krishnancha leela vasun shri krishnancha लहानपणच्या महाभारतातल्या लिला वाचून ऐकून गाऊन जीवनामध्ये एक आनंद येतो दे फील हॅपी सो दिस इज दॅट ग्रेट पर्सन कॉल कृष्ण हु इज लॉर्ड विष्णू चतुर्भुज विष्णू बट वेन ही कम्स एज कृष्ण वन ऑफ द मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टंट थिंग्स ही डज इज ही वॉन्ट्स टू कॉन्ट्रीब्युट टू दिस वर्ल्ड ही वॉन्ट्स टू एस्टॅब्लिश धर्म इन दिस वर्ल्ड बट ऍज ही इज डुईंग दिस ग्रेट टास्क of establishing dharma in this world paritrana ya sadhana vinasha ya chadushkita establishing what is right destroying what is wrong is he arrogant sadharanta samajamade jevde ekhade vyakti mothe mothe hot jata tanchavar jashe jashe mothe mothe jabadaryat yet jata te thode thode nakalat ka hoina pan uddhat hot jata they don't care for common people they are only care for the high five people let us see what are krishna's dealings with his devotees because krishna comes to this world paritrana sadhunam vinashaya chatushritam and dharma sanstapana in one case when draupadi was attempted to being disrobed then it is lord krishna who came to her rescue her husbands could not rescue her her father in law could not rescue her bhishma pitamaha could not rescue her finally she gave up her both hands and said hey govind please help me and it is mentioned in the shrimad bhagavatam that krishna expanded himself in the form of a sari krishna did not supply the sari but krishna himself expanded in the form of a sari and protected draupadi so later after that whole incident when they go into one vas so this is the first time when krishna is meeting the pandavas and draupadi in the one vas so draupadi is very angry Draupadi is still not able to forgive that whole situation because a chaste lady is insulted in front of everyone. So she asks Krishna, "They could not save me, and Bhishma could not save me, and Dhritarashtra could not save me, and nobody could save me. But only even you could not save me. Even you did not come to save me." So Krishna's response is very interesting. Krishna does not justify saying that, "Oh, I didn't save you. Then who who supplied the whole sari?" krishna says actually that time one king called shalva had attacked dwarka and i was so busy fighting dwarka that i got late in trying to come and save you please forgive me just see how sensitive he is because sometimes when somebody is complaining to you what that person needs is not a justification of how you were there to help that person actually what that person wants is some solas सांत्वनेची गरज आहे त्यांना स्पष्टीकरणाची गरज नसते अनेक वेळा जेव्हा लोक आपल्यावर क्रोधित होतात तेव्हा आपण स्पष्टीकरण देतो आणि पूर्ण त्या व्यक्तीचा आपण त्रास देतो त्या व्यक्तीला 
पण श्रीकृष्ण काय करतात स्पष्टीकरण नाही देत त्यांना थोडी सांत्वना देतात एनी बडी अँड एव्हरी बडी हु पार्टिसिपेटेड इन दॅट डर्टी ऍक्टिव्हिटी आय कॅन अश्युअर यु ऑल एव्हरी सिंगल पर्सन ऑफ देम विल बी किल्ड द्रौपदी सो ऍज सुन एज द्रौपदी हिअर्स दॅट दॅट पीपल हु डिड इनजस्टिस टू हर विल बी पनिश्ड शी फील्स गुड दॅट्स वॉट शी वॉट शी वॉन्ट्स टू हिअर अँड कृष्ण गिव्स हर दॅट वेन रुक्मिणी फ्रॉम विदर्भ she writes a letter to krishna and says that my brother is forcibly marrying me to shishupal and you please come and save me krishna comes and krishna at the last moment in the presence of shishupal takes away rukmini because rukmini has requested her so i am purposefully not using the word kidnap draupadi because many times this word kidnapping is used in a situation where the girl was not wanting that to happen but here rukmini had in, invited krishna to come so as krishna and rukmini very happily are going on the chariot shishupal cannot see this and shishupal with his whole big army attacks krishna and rukmini's chariot from behind and at that time rukmini becomes very scared and rukmini tells krishna krishna how will we take care of this he is attacking us and you know what krishna answers krishna very swiftly he answers don't worry rukmini your army will take care of shishupal's army so now the interesting thing is where is rukmini's army there actually it is krishna's dwarka army which is also there with krishna which is busy fighting shishupal's army but krishna does not say meri sena shishupal ki sena ke sath yuddh karegi he says your army tumchi sena shishupal cha sene sobat yuddh karel ani tanna parajay de so the acharyas mention just see this krishna two moments before he has taken rukmini actually formally marriage also has not taken place but just because rukmini offered herself to krishna krishna immediately accepted her and shared his own army with her jansa ya jagamadhe kahi nahi hai pan tane jar shri krishna na swikar kele shri krishna tanna patkan swikar karta ani mantat majhe je kahi hai te tumche so he says rukmini your army will destroy shishupal sarmi will the devotee go as a dut for the lord or will the lord go as a dut for the devotee in ramayan we see hanuman ji is a devotee of lord ramchandra so who goes as a dut on behalf of lord ramchandra it is hanuman who goes but just see in mahabharat the same lord ramchandra comes as krishna but here there is no devotee who goes as a dut for krishna but krishna goes as a dut for the pandavas he goes to dhritarashtra and says tanna tanse rajya parat ekda karun so shanti dut going to represent an ordinary person why will the supreme lord do that but he loves his devotees he wants to share his opulence with his devotees he protects his devotees in two different ways so there are two groups of devotees in krishna lila van are they are from vrindavan and mathura and they are simple gauri manto na apan gaiinchi kaalji ghetat they are those people they are simple villagers and they are used to protecting their cows and calves and they have never handled any weapons in that sense they have never fought any wars so when kamsa sends any rakshasas to vrindavan how does krishna deal with them krishna asks his friends to step aside and krishna himself will fight with all those demons and krishna will kill those demons and another set of devotees of krishna are the pandavas and how are the pandavas the pandavas are not people who take care of the cows pandavas are those who fight with wild animals in the forest because they are kings they are kshatriyas and when some people they attack the pandavas how does krishna deal with them with the vrajavasis he said tumhi bazula va mi yuddha karto pan pandavanna kadi mhantla ka pandavanna nehmi mhantla mi bazula hoto tumhi yuddha kara why does krishna behave in a different way with different people that is again a symbol of his sensitivity so krishna knows these vrajavasis are simple people they don't know how to fight and when this big big rakshasas come and attack the vrajavasis the vrajavasis will unnecessarily be killed their safety is my responsibility to tyancha swabhav olkhun tanchi vrutti olkhun bhandnari lok nahi hai thi hi changli lok hai he premal lok hai tanna gaiinchi kaalji ghela yeta ajun kai karta yet nahi na bhandna vagare karta yet nahi tancha sathi mi tanchi raksha kare pan ma hech gosht jar pandavanna sangitli when he tells the pandavas that you you step aside and i will do the fighting that may not be possible for the pandavas why because the pandavas will feel oh we are the warriors 
we are tough people we will fight for our own safety and that's why with different people krishna behaves in a different way after the whole war of mahabharat when uh, gandhari is very angry because gandhari heard from duryodhan that when he was coming without any clothes to gandhari as gandhari had requested krishna intervened in between and krishna said you can't go to your mother without your clothes so you should put on some clothes at least and that is how the thighs of duryodhan were weak and then that is how he was pulled down so gandhari has a lot of anger on yudhishthir because yudhishthir finally won the mahabharat war and gandhari also has a lot of anger on krishna because krishna caused the downfall of duryodhan so after the war is done after yudhishthir maharaj is made the king then krishna goes to meet gandhari alone what is the purpose of meeting gandhari alone he knows gandhari is very angry and all the satyatva you know all the good qualities that she had in being a loyal wife all that power can come out in the form of a curse and he knows that after winning the war the first thing that yudhishthir will do will go to take blessings of gandhari and dhritarashtra and as soon as yudhishthir goes to take blessings of dhritarashtra and gandhari gandhari will curse him and his her curse will come true so in order that all her power goes away krishna goes and meets gandhari before yudhishthir can meet and just like he predicted gandhari ends up speaking so much poison against krishna that you made this war and you caused this war and she totally neglects the faults of her own sons duryodhan dushasan and she curses krishna she says just like you caused my entire family to get destroyed i curse that very soon your family will also get destroyed and many foolish people they feel it is because of gandhari's curse that krishna's family got destroyed but krishna when he was leaving this world he wanted to make sure there is nobody else staying in this world other than the pandavas who are very powerful and who can threaten again dharma so the only people on the earth who were there who were very powerful and who could again threaten dharma were the yadu kumaras yadus yadavas so krishna before he left this world wanted to make sure that the yadavas also leave this world so just see his sensitivity towards pandavas in order to save the pandavas krishna went to gandhari and took the whole shap on himself and saved the pandavas from any kind of shap so we saw about his sensitivity for draupadi we saw his sensitivity for the vrajavasis we saw his sensitivity for rukmini we saw his sensitivity for the pandavas we saw his sensitivity for yudhishthir maharaj this super sensitive person how do we know him deeply he is a very dutiful person whenever there is adharma whenever there is dharma nash he will come and while he is establishing dharma he does it with so much sensitivity how do we know more about him there are three kinds of vision vyas rishi explains in mahabharat one vision is that of the raja yala mantat raja drishti so raja he is sitting in his palace and how does he know what is going on around in the kingdom he has spies tyache guptachar astat guptachar tela yevun sagli khabar detat ha baslya baslya tark lavto anuman lavto so this drishti is called anuman drishti where you don't see something but based on whatever you have heard you use all that knowledge you use all that information to speculate asa asu shakta asa hou shakta karan he je guptachar astat te phirta phirta kai kai goshti baktat ani tyachavarun tark lavun sangtat खर सत्य का गुप्तचरानी महती नजाला ही महत्ति नस्त कभी कभी स्टॉक ब्रोकर्स जे तर्क लो दिस कॉल्ड अनुमान दृष्टि और राजा दृष्टि द सेकेंड दृष्टि इज कॉल्ड प्रजा दृष्टि वॉट इज दिस प्रजा दृष्टि द कॉमन मैन ऑन द स्ट्रीट द कॉमन मैन ऑन द स्ट्रीट डज नॉट हैव मच इंटेलिजेंस द कॉमन मैन ऑन द स्ट्रीट डज नॉट हैव मच सोर्सेस ऑफ नॉलेज लाइक द स्पाइज ऑफ द किंग हिज सोर्स ऑफ नॉलेज इज वॉट ही सीज विद दिस आय सो फॉर सच ए पर्सन सीईंग इज बिलिविंग त्याला जेव्हापर्यंत त्याच्या डोळ्यांनी काही दिसत नाही तेव्हापर्यंत तो विश्वास ठेवत नाही ऍट वन पॉइंट ऑफ टाइम न्यूटन सर आयझॅक न्यूटन वॉज द बिगेस्ट आचार्य इन फिजिक्स सो दॅट्स कॉल्ड न्यूटोनियन मेकॅनिक्स वेन आइन्स्टाईन केम देन ही प्रपोज ए न्यू थिअरी विच इज कॉल्ड क्वांटम मेकॅनिक्स सो न्यूटन मेकॅनिक्स इट अज्युम्स द प्रेझेन्स ऑफ मॉलिक्युल्स ऍक्टम्स अँड सो ऑन अँड वॉट इज इन क्वांटम फिजिक्स इन क्वांटम फिजिक्स आइन्स्टाईन सेज द मोर यू गो डीपर इन टू मॅटर actually matter disappears and you see only energy so now the modern definition 
of physics is not newtonian mechanics newtonian physics it is now quantum physics to manta hai varun dist sagla स्थूल पदार्थ दिसतो पण जर तुम्ही खोल गेले तर ऍक्च्युली नुसती शक्ती आहे ऍक्च्युली स्थूल असं काहीच नाहीये इव्हन इलेक्ट्रॉन्स वेन यू गो डीपर इन टू इलेक्ट्रॉन्स अँड प्रोटॉन्स अँड न्यूट्रॉन्स देर इज बेसिकली एनर्जी सो प्रत्यक्ष प्रमाणाच्या दृष्टीने जर बघितलं तर आपण अनेक वेळा फसू शकतो राजा दृष्टी इज ऑल्सो नॉट हेल्पफुल अँड प्रजा दृष्टी इज ऑल्सो नॉट हेल्पफुल देन कम्स द थर्ड दृष्टी विच इज कॉल्ड विद्वान दृष्टी सो वॉट इज विद्वान दृष्टी दिस विद्वान takes not the help of guptachar and this vidwan takes not the help of his eyes because he knows both of them can be faulty the vidwan he takes shelter of proper knowledge coming in parampara so he takes help of shastra shastran madhe kai lele but it does not stop there he does not he does not understand things just based on what is written in the books to understand shastra he uses pratyaksha jasa praja pratyaksha bhakte tela swikar karte tar he je vidwan lok asat te shastranna vachtat ani shastranna samajnyasathi pratyaksha vapartat shastran madhe je dile te samajnyasathi anuman lavtat tanna je je distay tanni je je baghitle tacha anusar tark lavtat so the vidwan it is not that he is against pratyaksha the vidwan is not that he is against anuman but his pratyaksha and his anuman is based on shastra so now you have to decide which drishti is the best is it raja drishti it is praja drishti or it is vidwan drishti obviously when you stay isolated in one drishti then you lose but this vidwan is a very intelligent person he takes knowledge from the scriptures which are like bhagavad gita has not undergone any addition change in the last 5000 years but whatever has been mentioned to arjun 5000 year back is still holding true so shastra plus pratyaksha plus anuman when these three combine then you get amazing knowledge which can never be destroyed so as per the wise people we should also use this vidwan drishti to understand krishna if we use only our pratyaksha drishti then we feel he looks very ordinary he has two hands two legs i also have two hands and two legs and sometimes some people use anuman so they say krishna was a great politician dekho kya kya politics kiya some people say krishna was somebody who just like to enjoy the company of young girls and then you go to the shastra then you understand only anuman not correct only pratyaksha not correct but what the shastra say shastra says before krishna came to the this world there was an akashvani that vishnu is going to come oh and then you take shastra and then you try to understand shastra by pratyaksha and anuman that's the best way so the power of krishna is represented by one word in sanskrit which is called aishwarya and the sweetness of krishna the way he deals with his devotees is represented by one word in sanskrit which is called madhurya usually somebody who is very madhur who is very sweet may not be very strong and those people who are very strong in this world may not be very sweet but in krishna we find the aishwarya of god and the sweetness of a very sweet sweet reciprocating person who reciprocates with every single person's feelings you know what it means it means if any one of us offer our feelings to krishna he will reciprocate even with our feelings if he can reciprocate with every single devotee he can reciprocate with us also now the most interesting thing is in all the education that we have undergone we were taught so many things but we were never ever taught this when a child is taught mathematics in school the mathematics is taught not from zero mathematics is taught taught from 1 1 2 3 so on so on so that chatas saha mahine jata then comes 9 and then that child asks 9 ke aage kya hai and then he is taught a very important concept of zero so if you see one of the greatest contributions to this world in the field of mathematics was a contribution of zero a sadhu a sage from india his name was aryabhatta this aryabhatta actually millions of years back and thousands of years back has invented this concept of zero and he gave the concept of zero to this world without zero the entire system of mathematics falls down it cannot exist without zero but small kids if you teach them झिरो पासून सुरुवात कर मग ते म्हणतात झिरो म्हणजे काय झिरो म्हणजे काही नाही मग काही नाही पासून काय शिकवताय तुम्ही आम्हाला 
so that's why teachers teach kids from one two three and nine and when they go to nine when they get stuck up at nine when they don't know how to go ahead then the teachers tell them now i'll teach you one very important concept of zero and then he's taught one zero then comes 10 but at zero actually comes before one it is from where the whole mathematics starts but if the small kids are taught zero in the beginning then they will say this is useless this is not necessary we want something important one two three is important zero nothing is not important but all wise people they understand the importance of zero not before one they understand the importance of zero after nine similarly my dear friends in indian culture the concept of god who krishna is who ram is was taught in the beginning but what we did we said hey parmeshwar ishwar god and all this don't teach me you teach me something solid you teach me something of this world so then we changed our education system to not start from zero we started our education system to start from one paise ya samajamadhe nav property ghar he te asa karat ek don teen char nav parenta pochlo ma ata mhanna pudhe kay ata ata samapta sagla ma teva aplyala lakshat ala je ek या अंकाच्या आधी शून्य होता तो आपल्याला नऊ नंतर गाठतो आपल्याला नऊ नंतर आपल्याला लक्षात येतं की काहीतरी मिसिंग आहे आपल्या आयुष्यामध्ये नाही तर नऊला आपण थांबणार नऊला आपला ब्रेक लागणार तेव्हा मग जे चांगले शिक्षक असतात ते म्हणतात जो अंक जो आकडा मला तुला एकच्या आधी शिकवायचा होता पण तू तयार नव्हतास एकच्या आधी शिकायचा तो आता मला तुला नऊ नंतर शिकवायला लागतोय तो आहे शून्य आणि हा शून्य जेव्हापर्यंत तू शिकत नाहीस तेव्हा तुझं आयुष्य एक ते नऊ मध्ये राहणार आणि ज्या दिवशी तू हा शून्य शिकशील तो तू एक च्या आधी पण जाऊ शकतोस आणि नऊ च्या पुढे यू कॅन गो टू मिलियन्स ऑफ नंबर्स अहेड नॉट ओनली दॅट यू कॅन ऑल्सो गो टू झिरो पॉईंट फाईव्ह विच इज इन बिटवीन झिरो अँड वन सो झिरो इज अ मॅजिक नंबर बट झिरो इफ यू लुक ॲट इट्स व्हॅल्यू इट हॅज झिरो व्हॅल्यू अँड इट ऑल्सो हॅज इन्फायनाईट व्हॅल्यू सो म्हणून ज्या लोकांना वाटतं की परमेश्वर ईश्वर अध्यात्म हे सगळं ना भारतीय लोकांनी ना सगळा कचरा केलाय ऍक्च्युली आपण पाश्चात्य संस्कृतीकडे बघायला पाहिजे त्यांनी काय चीज केलंय या जगाचं काय मोठ्या मोठ्या इमारती बांधल्यात तर ते कुठे आहेत माहितीये तीन चार पाच ला वगैरे आहेत एक दिवशी ही सर्व लोक नऊ ला पोचतात आणि नऊ नंतर जेव्हा जीवनाला एक पूर्ण विराम येतो तेव्हा पुन्हा एकदा जीवनाचा अर्थ शोधत शोधत ऋषिकेश आणि हरिद्वार आणि मथुरा आणि वृंदावनला येतात आणि म्हणतात तुम्ही पूर्वीकडे पृथ्वीच्या पूर्वीकडे जे लोक राहत आहेत त्यांना परमेश्वरामध्ये खूप विश्वास आहे जरा सांगाल का आम्हाला so many people in haridwar and rishikesh are basically from new york and from america trying to search for the values of life aapli ashi gammat hai ki aplya kade he sarva ahe pan aapla jo drushtikon hai aapli nazar ahe ti paschime kade ani paschima cha lokanni sagla anubhavla hai ek te 9 paryant ata purna pane hatash jhale ani te purve kade baktat tar asa mantat samja apan vachan karu shakto ani aplya ghari khub moti ek library hai आणि त्याच्यामध्ये हजार पुस्तक आहेत पण आपण ते पुस्तक कधी वाचले नाही तर ते एका निरक्षर इफ वी आर इलिटरेट इट इज सिमिलर टू दॅट वी मे हॅव सम गुड सीड्स बट वी नेवर प्लॅन्टेड इट इट इज ऍज गुड एज हॅव्हिंग नो सीड्स टुडे देर इज अ कोविड पॅन्डेमिक गोईंग ऑन इफ समबडी फाइंड्स आउट द क्युअर बट इट डज नॉट डिस्ट्रीब्युट इट टू पीपल देन इट इज ऍज गुड एज देर इज नो क्युअर एक जोक ऐकला होता मध्ये there are three frogs sitting on the banks of a well eka vihiri cha kade var teen beduka hai two of them decide to jump so how many are remaining the answer is all three because the two of them only decided to jump they did not jump manun vichar karnya madhe ani pratyaksha madhe aplya jivana madhe kai karnya madhe antar hai so i am calling out to all all those doctors who are very intelligent people in baramati that all this knowledge of ramayan mahabharat bhagavatam krishna ram narsimha is all part of our culture from day one actually it is the zero from where our culture starts and on the basis of that zero we can build 1 2 3 9 90 900 9000 9, 9, 9, 9 million and so on but when we took away that zero from our culture jeva aplya sanskruti madun apan ramchandrana diwali cha divshi bahar kadla जेव्हा श्री कृष्णानं जन्माष्टमीच्या दिवशी बाहेर काढलं जेव्हा होळी मधून आपण प्रल्हादाला बाहेर काढलं मग आता आपल्याकडे काय उरलं शून्य विना आपल्या जीवनामध्ये आता गणित उरलंय 
त्याच्यामध्ये काही आकडे आहेत पण त्या नऊ आकड्यांच्या पलीकडे आपण कधी आयुष्यात जात जाऊ शकत नाही सो एनिबडी हू डज नॉट हॅव गॉड इन हिज लाईफ मे हॅव सम मनी मे हॅव सम नेम अँड फेम बट ही विल नॉट हॅव सॅटिस्फॅक्शन इन हिज लाईफ ही विल नॉट हॅव सेन्सिटिव्हिटी इन हिज लाईफ ही विल नॉट हॅव रिलेशनशिप्स इन हिज लाईफ सो टुडे माय डिअर फ्रेंड्स ऑल ऑफ यू हू हॅव कम टू दिस प्रोग्राम टुडे आय वॉन्ट टू एंड टू डेज प्रेझेंटेशन बाय सेईंग दॅट वाय शुड वी सेलिब्रेट जन्माष्टमी वी शुड सेलिब्रेट जन्माष्टमी to remind ourselves of the zero that was originally part of our culture but we kicked out that zero from our culture and because we don't have that zero in our life now we are stuck only in nine digits but as soon as we get that zero the starting point of mathematics in our life lord the supreme lord vishnu krishna rama in our lives his teachings in the form of the bhagavad gita in our life then our mathematics can expand in both directions and then we can actually become rich so this is the significance of janmashtami trying to understand how this most powerful person comes here again and again out of his care for all of us aplyala tumhala ani amhala madat karnyasathi shri krishna varamvar ya jagat etat yada yada hi ani asha ya vyakti prati krutagnyata arpan karnyasathi aplyala sandhi milte janmashtami cha divshi so i am really grateful to all of you that you all have come here for the janmashtami program today and i am really grateful for all the organizers of this program who gave me an opportunity to present something related to the importance of janmashtami thank you very much i end here and i request dr karte to do the needful ahead thank you prabhu ji hari krishna thank you prabhu ji thank you so much for sharing all dimensions to establish krishna in our life and establishing पूर्वेचा दृष्टिकोन म्हणजे अनम्यूट करायला लागेल अच्छा आता येत येस येस हा जो तुम्ही पूर्वेचा म्हणजे इस्टर्न इस्टर्न कन्सेप्ट जो इस्टॅब्लिश केला झिरोचा कन्सेप्ट दॅट वॉज ऑल न्यू फॉर अस and thank you for sharing all uh, your all the dimensions to establish krishna in our life and uh, i request if uh, participant to uh, share their views or any any uh, any question regarding the today's lecture they can immediately ask yeah any comments any questions also you can ask on true wisdom group if it's getting late today no problem if you want to speak a few words you can speak हॅलो या हा नमस्ते नमस्ते प्रभूजी मला हे विचारायचं होतं की हाऊ मच आर युअर इन द फेवर ऑफ सेलिब्रेटिंग जन्माष्टमी बाय दही हांडी विच इज नाव डेज सेलिब्रेटेड इन अ व्हेरी डिफरंट वे व्हॉट इज युअर ओपिनियन व्हॉट शुड गो अँड हाऊ शुड इट हाऊ शुड इट बी रन actually i have been a devotee of krishna for the last 20 years and in my whole life i have never celebrated dahi handi because my teachers my gurus they always taught me apan apla ayushya shri krishna cha shikvani anusar jagaycha hai aplyala shri krishna cha anukaran nahi karaycha shri krishna ne dahi handi fodli manun aplyala dahi handi nahi fodaychi shri krishna ne aplya kadun kay apeksha vyakta kele ahet te anusar aplyala jivan jagaycha so i was never ever encouraged i was never ever told ki shri krishna ni dahi handi keli manun apan pan dahi handi karayche this is done by people who want to imitate krishna we don't want to imitate krishna we want to follow krishna shri krishna ni asa kuthe hi nahi mantle ki majhe je bhakt ahet tanni pan dahi handi karayla pahije tanni pan basuri vajvayla pahije samja mala tabla vajavta yeto mi tabla vajavun pan shri krishna na prasanna karu shakto so this is done by people who don't understand krishna properly who don't want to follow krishna properly they want to do everything that krishna did but you can't do everything that krishna did lokanchi haada modtat lokancha kambarda modta which is really very sad to hear that you know people are trying to imitate krishna we don't want to imitate krishna so i am personally not in favor of this whole dahi and business yes i am also agree with you thank you thank you 
So uh, thank you, you all. And uh, we'll conclude this session today because it's too late. Uh, anybody uh, who wants to uh, share their views or any comments, they can share on True, uh, True Wisdom Group. And uh, we'll uh, thanks uh, one uh, uh, again, His Grace Nandadulla Prabhu, for sharing thank the you. all. Thank you. I'm grateful to you. This is a very nice opportunity I get to share some proper opinion, some proper information about Krishna. Very few people are actually interested in understanding Krishna in reality. Most of them, they want to stick to their own conception, but I'm really grateful to all of you for taking out your time and giving me an opportunity. Thank you so much. Yeah, Hare Krishna. Welcome, Guru. Yeah. Hare Krishna.